Hey guys and welcome to the Chemistry Shack. In this video, I will show you how to make green colored fire using the boric acid that we recrystallized in a previous video. This is a pretty simple demonstration, although it doesn't come without risk. Methanol and its vapors are very toxic and can blind or kill you. Also, methanol is a particularly dangerous alcohol due to its high flammability, so make sure you have experience with handling flammable liquids before attempting this experiment. The only chemicals you need for this experiment are methanol and the recrystallized boric acid that we made in a previous video. It is very important that the boric acid has been recrystallized because it must be as pure as possible for this experiment to work properly. Check out my video on recrystallizing boric acid by clicking the annotation on the screen or the link in the description. In terms of equipment, you will need a glass petri dish and a surface that can handle the high temperatures. In this case, I am using the bottom of a glass beaker. Start by adding a few milliliters of methanol to the petri dish and then add a small amount of boric acid. Mix well until most of the acid is dissolved. Make sure you move the bottle of methanol out of the vicinity before lighting the methanol in the petri dish. Trust me when I say that you do not want an entire bottle of methanol going up in flames. When you are ready, light the methanol with a torch. You can see the beautiful green color of the flame due to the boron atoms in the boric acid. In this video, I'm not going to explain in detail why different substances burn with different colored flames. But basically, the electrons in the boron atoms gain energy from the heat of the burning methanol. When they release this energy, it is visible to us as green light. I'll be saving all of the interesting details for a future video so that this video doesn't get too long. As you can see in this clip, purity is very important in this demonstration. Here are two petri dishes side by side, the right one containing the recrystallized boric acid and the left one containing impure boric acid straight out of its container. Let's see how their flame colors compare. In this case, the 99% boric acid was actually already pure enough to produce a pure green flame. However, not all brands will be like this, so it is best to recrystallize anyway. I also did this experiment on a much larger scale at night. I didn't measure out the methanol, but I'd estimate that I used at least 300 milliliters. When the boric acid is added, it produces a spectacular green flame. Sorry that the quality isn't great, this was at night and my camera sucks, but I hope you still enjoy. When I add some sodium chloride to the mix, you can see the bright orange flame of sodium overwhelming the green color of boron's flame. This is why it is best to recrystallize, as even a small amount of an impurity can drastically change the flame's color. Well, that's it for this video. If you like what you saw, don't forget to hit that like button and share this video with your friends. Also, make sure to subscribe to The Chemistry Shack. Now before I go, I have a special message. My grandmother is currently in the hospital with pneumonia, so I am dedicating this video to her. I hope she enjoys the green fire and gets better soon.